It's Senny and Finn's Games and Grabs Podcast. Now sponsored by Gamerborn Clothing. Go to gamerborn.co.uk and use code DDGAMING or 10% off your next order. What's happening guys? Welcome to episode 65 of the Games and Grabs Podcast. I'm Sunny, and with me as always is Finn Steele. Hello. Finn, how you doing? I'm doing good, thank you. Very good. good. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm good, man. Thank you very much. I feel well rested. Good. Got a hopefully. day off work today, so just a uh, nice chill. Excellent. Uh, hopefully we'll have video this time. <laughs> yeah, that's my fault, guys. I'm sorry. Um, I think what happened is, is like I moved the video to the desktop and then almost instantly moved it to the trash can by accident and then emptied the trash can like some sort of idiot and then it was gone forever. I tried to... <laughs> recover it and like literally skim through all of my files like try to recover past files oh yeah and it, it just it found a million things except Not the video <laughs> figures that's so, fine I'm sorry i'm using a different video recording software this time so hopefully you'll be able to see our beautiful faces right now you're welcome hopefully <laughs> hopefully <laughs> <laughs> i'm sure we will i'm sure everything will be absolutely fine yes finn Hello. What have you been playing this week? Have Ooh. you touched your backlog like we talked about last week? Briefly, yes. <laughs> okay, actually, yeah, I have quite a bit. Um, so before we get to the main thing, um, Tekken is from Platinum now. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice, Wait, simple, straightforward didn't Platinum. We have a, didn't we have a thing for Platinums? Wait, it was clapping, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, I think it was. Round of applause. Let's clap. Yay. <laughs> that sounds great on the audio. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> So yeah, taking taking platinum very easy, straightforward platinum. Just uh, level up a bunch and beat story mode, easy and fun. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for that I think as well because oh, yeah. I looked at the trophy list and I was like, that is absolutely doable. So, uh, oh, so yeah, good. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go for that as well. Uh, yeah, it's absolutely doable. You could knock that in a couple of days if you just grind out. Cool. Um, also played. Uh, oh, also speaking of platinum, I platinumed Infamous First Light. Did I mention that last week? I think I did, didn't I? Yeah. Uh, I think you mentioned you were playing it. I can't remember if you said you planned it or not. Yeah, I can't remember either. But uh, yeah, I didn't plan as well. So another round of applause. Yay! Yay! Cool. Two plans in one cool. week. Not bad. I'm doing and good. two horrendous clapping noises <laughs> yeah. on the audio. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm coming for Viz's uh, uh, high score on Platinum's. No. I'm, coming, I'm coming for you, Viz. You're never gonna get there. I mean, what's, what's Viz got? He's got like he's got over a hundred, right? <laughs> he's got a crazy amount. Yeah. <laughs> what What are you on at the minute? Like fifty-four, I think. Yeah, I don't know, man. Viz, Viz just hammers these platinums out. I don't even know how he does it. He does. He it, it, it is. He does. He does. He does. He does. Does does. Viz does. Viz does does. Yes. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, words. Um, yeah. What else? Uh, oh, we played uh, Dead by Daylight on on stream. And, we uh, did. I'm pretty sure Denzel hates me now because I may have left him to die at one point. You absolutely left him to dry. It literally, <laughs> you hung him out to dry. Like. It's, he was literally hanging out to dry. I mean, or wait, hanging out, hanging out to die, even. Yeah, there you go. Um, yeah. Well, I mean, he, yeah, at one point he saved me. He was trying to save me. I ran, I managed to escape, and he got caught. And then, like, the general had all been started, so I just went straight to the exit. It was like, oh yeah, I'm coming for you, Dan. I'm coming for you. Meanwhile, I was just holding down the like escape um, button. Yeah. And then yeah, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming right for you now, and I escaped. <laughs> it, was just, it was a real piece of shit move. That's what it was. Um, I was just trying to throw off um, the killer, you know. It's, Come I just, on! I just, I just, I think at least with me escaping, the whole team escapes. The team wins, you know. I'm playing for the team. Yeah, mm. I'm, I'm, I'm a team player. Mm. I'm, I'm helping. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we won, thanks to me. Mm. <laughs> You're welcome, Denzel. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Next time we play that, uh, you know he's going nowhere near. Safety, oh yeah, right? it's, it's, I'm gonna get screwed over all the time. <laughs> yeah, you are. Uh, it's gonna be great. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, uh, another hole you've dug for yourself. Just like Monopoly again, isn't it? Is a bit, yeah. I keep I keep digging these holes in myself. Yeah, you do. Ah, <laughs> uh, dear. You'll learn one day. One day, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> maybe. Uh, what's the play? Um, when to start on Crash Bandicoot, finally. Yay. Okay. What's so, into it? It's great. I love it. I love Crash. So much nostalgia. Hard, though, right? Um, saying so? It's hard, though, right? Um, Honestly, I've only played through the first uh, like island so far. I haven't had too much trouble yet. Okay. But uh, I'm sure it will get harder. Um, and the sort of time trials will kick me out as well because they're remember being quite difficult back in the day. Mm. Uh, but it's great, great game. Um, just so much nostalgia. I had a big smile on my face all the time playing it. So good. 
Great remaster too. They've done a fantastic oh, job with that. Amazing. Yeah, it looks so good. Yeah, really, really good. Yeah, looking forward to playing more of that. And I did actually play, not a whole lot, but I did play Dishonored 2, which you talked about last week. And, Excellent. Uh, yeah, and it's good. I like it. Yeah? Yeah. Um, as good two... as the first one? Uh, I think so. I haven't really got too far into it yet. I've beaten the first mission. Um, I'm going to try and do like a full stealth playthrough the first time through. Um, play it on easy mode. I did try and play it on normal, um, but I was having trouble. So I was like, oh, that's pretty easy. <laughs> Just to get through this first level. Um because you don't have powers in the first level, then you'll knock your powers in the next level, and then it makes it a lot easier. Um, so yeah, but it's a good game. I like it. It's it's more more the same, but improved slightly. So you're gonna stick at it, and you're gonna beat it, right? I think so. I'm gonna try, I'll attempt to platinum. I think. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah. Because he's Viz. He's coming for you. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming for you, Viz. He's only about a hundred behind, but he's yeah. coming for you. I'll, I'll get there one day. <laughs> <laughs> one day. <laughs> the, the problem is, Viz plays all these like super. Nothing games. It's just like my name is Mayo. I mean, who who likes the battle? My name is Mayo. Who does that? What kind of what kind of horrible uh, person does that to themselves? I don't know. Who whoever these people <laughs> are really need to have a word with themselves. They, they do absolutely. Um, <laughs> uh, sorry, world. Yeah, sorry, world. Um, <laughs> sorry, Viz. <laughs> That's uh, yeah. So yeah, the lot two good game. I like it. Cool. Thumbs up. I'm gonna keep playing. It, I think. Good. I have more to report on next week. Uh, so how about you? What have you been playing uh, this week? Everything but the game I was supposed to be playing. <laughs> Everything but um, that last two. Yeah. <laughs> last weekend was a busy weekend for games. It was. It so, was. I mean, saw three brand new releases. Mm-hmm. And we had all three at the same time. So, um, I played a little bit of Crash. Um, it is great. I love the way mm. they've remastered it. It's brilliant. So good. Um, me and Denzel played the Golf Club. Oh, Golf yeah. Club 2, that is. And we're really enjoying it. It's an improvement on the first one. There's more to it. And already we've got people joining our society, which is Daydreamer Golfing, which is really cool as well. Awesome. Uh, We set it up and we streamed it on the Saturday morning show. And we sort of mentioned the society during the stream. And then Sunday we logged on and all of a sudden people are, loads of people are in there and playing the championship that we created. And it was weird. So so that was cool. Yeah. Uh, And we also played Micro Machines uh, World Series. Uh, Yeah, yeah. Uh, which is the new Micro Machines game from Codemasters. And it's great. Um, there's not a whole lot in the way of single-player content. But yeah, I heard the, about that. Um, the online component, when it works, is excellent. Uh, mm-hmm. It's still the same great racing that you remember from the Micro Machines games, yeah. from the Mega Drive um, all the way through to the PS3, uh, sorry, the PS1 and the PS2. Nice. Uh, I would highly recommend it. I think it's great. Um, cool. I'd it's love- not reviewed great it must be said yeah it's not been amazing but uh it's mostly just due to lack of single player stuff i think that's what it is yeah, yeah. but um we we really like it and uh i encourage more people to get it it's very very good so um awesome. i just love the that. uh i just love micro machines uh micro machines 2 i think turbo on uh, mega drive it has like the ports and the con- cartridge so you can play for oh there. yeah i love that like the yeah. uh multi-taps before multi-taps exactly yeah it's great yeah. great little mention yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, that's a, I, I, lo- I used to love that feature. There's only there wasn't many games that had that. Like had the ports in the cartridge. No, no I think pretty, pretty sure it's just that. Maybe I can't can't remember any others off the top of my head. Yeah, p- part of me thinks there was a cricket game as well, but I can't remember. Mm. I can't remember for definite. Interesting. I could be wrong. Could be. <laughs> yeah, probably are wrong. We'll do research. Uh, we'll do research. We'll come <laughs> back. Um, been playing Dead by Daylight with you guys. I absolutely love it. I've been playing it by myself so as well, just sort of dipping into multiplayer games, trying to level my character up and stuff like that. Awesome. Um, I absolutely love it. I think it's one of my favourite games this year. It's great, yeah. Uh, it's It's been out for a while on PC, obviously. Um, so I've had time to refine it and uh, update it. And I uh, bought the console as a full game, and it's, and it's great, yeah. I agree. Yeah, it's, it's definitely one of my favourite games. There's something about it. I just think... Um, like it's that the hook of fixing and repairing the generators and you know, it, it just it, that that that's the hook I think. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, Having the task, doing the task, and getting out of there before the killer gets you, and you also have the excitement of when the killer is chasing you. Uh, you know, it's just a, a very well made online multiplayer game. I, I think it's I really think it's fantastic. Yeah, I agree. It's great. I'm looking forward to more. Maybe so even I, today. I wasn't even bothered about it. Like, like when Denzel said to me, he's like, do you want to get Dead by Daylight? I was like, yeah, sure. I'm not <laughs> bothered by it. I've you know, been playing Friday the 13th. Played it. I instantly thought it was better than Friday the 13th. <laughs> and I, I can't yeah. get enough of it. So it's great. Awesome. And also, 
Uh, I've gone back and I've um, continued my game on Forza Horizon 2. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um, I love Forza Horizon 2. I mean, I love 3, but 2, is, two I really do love so much. Like, I've done a lot of it, so I'm just going back and just casually mowing through the championships, and I'm still really, really enjoying it. And awesome. I think that's a testament to how great that, not only that game is, but how great the series is. I know, again, you're not overly enamoured with it, but uh, for me... It's just a great racing game for the casual racing game fan. Awesome. And that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Excellent. Yeah. Cool. Got loads to play, but I just yes. insist on not playing the games that I need to play. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I know that feel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, there's a couple of little bits of gaming news this week. Yeah, a few bits. I want to start with this that I literally read about 30 seconds before we started recording. <laughs> Nice. And that's there's uh, an Xbox game gifting feature coming soon. Yeah, yeah. So I'd much like, cool. yeah, I think it's cool as well. So much like Steam, where you can sort of gift games to your buddies, um, you're going to be able to do the same on Xbox One pretty soon. And I think that is a very good idea. Very good, yeah. Uh, Welcome on Steam. Uh, hoping something like that will come to PlayStation eventually. I hope so. Um, yeah, it's cool. That's a, cool, that's, cool, that's cool a, feature. That's a good feature, I think, yeah. Uh, I'm down with it. Too bad only games on Xbox One worth buying. Oh, oh <laughs> I do disagree, but I'm a fanboy, right. so <laughs> that's uh, yeah, that's me. That's fair. I w- <laughs> see, I would like to start uh, a playthrough of uh, Dead Rising Four. Ooh, good one. Because the, the exclusives that are exclusive to Xbox like are actually very good. It's All three of them. just very few and far between. So <laughs> uh, yeah, that's true. Unfortunately, uh, what else have we got? What else do we have here? Uh, tell me your Overwatch news. Um, Doomfist. He's real. He punches people. He looks cool. And I look forward to playing him. So <laughs> is he out now? He's on the public test... Public? Public? Uh, pub, public test realm on PC uh, okay. to play about with. Uh, not out officially, yes, but coming soon. Um, he looks cool. I haven't played it myself yet. Um, but he looks he looks fun. And he's a DPS character. He just goes around punching people. I like it. So no weapons, no? Uh, I think it has like a, some sort of gun on this. Like I think he shoots, shoots bullets out of his hand or something. Shrug, sure. But he just he most, mostly punches, which is pretty cool. <laughs> Fair it's enough. My, my kind of guy. Fair enough. You're still enjoying Overwatch? Uh, I am, mostly. Competitive is going to do my head in a little bit at okay. the minute. Because it's, it's good, but the people who play it tend to like rage quit halfway through. Like, either just die, die once, or like, okay, I'm not playing anymore, and just stop playing, and just stand around being dick the whole time. Just, like, throw God the game. damn it, man. Like, what, what? what is wrong with people? I don't know. It's like, literally, had a, we're having a good game, we're, we're pushing forwards, and we die, like, right once. It's like, okay, we're just going again, it's fine. And then just, it's like a diva on our team just stops. It's like, okay, just spamming, like, thanks, 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 thanks. It's like, we died once. You can still win. <laughs> this is the second round to go. Oh, I don't know. People uh, are weird. Oh, man. People are weird. Yeah, I hate people. So, yeah, me too. So, which means I'm definitely in the wrong job because I have to deal with people daily. Same. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> so. That, that's from, what it happens. It's all these people, dealing with people every day is made to save people. Yeah, that's right, yeah. That's <laughs> it. When you work with people, it just makes you like the biggest cynic in the world. <laughs> it does. It just makes you just hate everything. Uh, stupid public. But like, even if you've got a genuine problem, it's like, man, fuck your problem. <laughs> no one cares. No Shut one cares up. for your problem. <laughs> Which, which obviously is harsh. and It is. But, you know, when you've worked in the public sector and you work with the public, like we do, it just turns you into a bastard. Does a bit. <laughs> yes, yeah. That's why we are bastards. We're bastards. Yeah. Bah. So, from one online multiplayer game to another, mm. the excellent and always enjoyable Rocket League ah. has hit 33 million players. Oh, is that all? And there is 1.6 million players... Playing every single day. Damn. Not bad. Damn, son. They sponsor um, WWE at the minute, don't they? They certainly do. Yeah. I feel sorry for them. Yeah. No, joke. yeah. <laughs> um, that is a testament to how far that game has come. I mean, oh, yeah. that was a free game on PlayStation Plus when it first launched. It was, and it yeah. It's just gone from strength to strength to strength. And it's at a point now where it's sponsoring global broadcasted globally <laughs> broadcasted professional wrestling and yeah, the awesome. install base and player base is just absolutely ridiculous and uh, let's have a round of applause for those guys there yeah because, uh, that's uh, 
that, that, that's <laughs> an excellent job that they've done. So well Very done. Good. And they keep building on it as well. So instead of sort of rushing ahead and just making a sequel, they just continue to build on the original game. And yep, yep. that is awesome. So yeah. uh, congratulations to those guys. Yeah, mate, just downloaded the update for it yesterday. So it's, they're still going. Yeah. Awesome stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, anything else? Uh, a little tiny bit of news from Sony, which I know it's before we started. Okay. Uh, saying the trophies will now sync slightly faster. Can't say I've really had a problem with trophies. <laughs> well, I can't, the, I can't, say, I can't say I have either. I can't yeah. say I have either. Um, it's it's weird really one. weird. Sorry if you just saw me scratch my nose there on uh, on camera. I do apologise. <laughs> um, Stop picking your nose. <laughs> <laughs> it's a weird one, that. It's like my, my trophies sync quickly anyway. I don't yeah. really see any sort of issue there. Do you know see it improving? It's just if it, they do it like instantly, like Xbox does with achievements. Yeah. But uh, I can't say we've ever really had a problem with how it works now. So, weird one. Yeah, very strange. Oh, but, but oh, I, it's I, fine. I guess, it, I guess it's news to them. Yeah. There'll be some Sony people, like Sony fanboys out there who are like, oh God, it just takes way too long. Like, <laughs> yeah. It you know, takes those whole three, three seconds. seconds oh. it takes, yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Um, I know that, I noticed that Assassin's Creed Origins is getting a ton of tie-in media. Oh, yeah. Including an anime series on Netflix. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Hmm. So they're, they're going all out um, with Assassin's Creed Origins. Like, I think there's, it's getting a graphic novel, it's getting an anime series on Netflix, and some other stuff that and Assassin's other Creed stuff. fanboys will just <laughs> love. Yeah, I'm other sure. Stuff. Other undisclosed stuff. Yes. <laughs> but if you're an Assassin's Creed fan, uh, you've had your year off, but... God damn it! You're getting <laughs> you're gonna get a ton of stuff this year. So <laughs> yeah, good times. Good stuff. Well, I'm looking oh. forward to it, actually. That's a pretty good one. Yeah, the I'm game, looking the game itself, anyway. Actually. Yeah, the game itself. I'm not bothered about all that other <laughs> yeah, stuff. Yeah, same, all same. the stuff that comes along with it, I'm not bothered about. <laughs> right. Um, there's some stuff, more stuff <gasps> coming for WWE 2K18. Ooh, I like stuff. Stuff is good. Now, yeah. they've already announced, and I don't think we mentioned this last week, but uh, Seth Rollins is going to be the cover star for this year's entry into the WWE 2K franchise. Yes, good choice, I think. Yeah, that's a good choice. Yeah. That's a good choice. I'm, I'm with glad it. they didn't go with Roman Reigns. <laughs> that would have been a terrible idea. Um, yeah, simply because, it, well, I mean, it would have just gone down like a shit sandwich. That's what would have <laughs> happened. Exactly. The people, the people who buy you know, like the games every year are people like us. It's like... We're kind of smarky fans. We like prefer like the guys who came up from the Indies, such as Seth Rollins. I can't believe and, you uh, just you just branded us as smarky fans. Well, I mean, you know, we have a podcast about wrestling. Yep. Okay. Fair <laughs> enough. You win. Shrug. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, fair enough. You know what I mean? It's, it's like Seth Rollins is a good choice, I think. I think Seth Rollins is a good choice. I like Seth Rollins. Uh, personally, I don't care who's on the cover. Yeah, well, yeah, it's true. Um, <laughs> it doesn't matter, yeah, does it? I, just, I buy the game digital anyway, so the only That's time right. I ever really see it is the little square on the PlayStation. <laughs> so <laughs> it doesn't matter to me, but uh, it matters to some people, and I'm sure they're happy. Yeah. So, uh, in addition to announcing that Seth Rollins is going to be the cover star for this year's game, uh, they've announced some new features and improvements. Cool. It needs them. Now, the cynic in us has come out <laughs> once again. Yep, as it always does. Yeah, so the, the tagline this year, and I'm going to sort of read it out here, so, be like no one. Mm, the WWE 2K franchise has enabled users to be like no one through its amazing creation suite. Mm. Already this has pissed me off because it's already, this is the first thing as well. <laughs> the emphasis on creation suite is, please make this game for us. Yeah, do, do all our work for us. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> so there's all sorts of different stuff. Improvements to create a superstar, create an arena, and create a video. Mm. Mm. Uh, the highlight replay system now enables users to save game replays to make into future videos and add-ons. Oh, wait. And adds a free roaming camera for further creative and editing control. Oh, I think that's pretty interesting. Yeah. Uh, in addition, we are also bringing creativity to matches with a new create a match feature. Hmm. This Freedom. is interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Could, 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 like, you don't just have the matches. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't know what I, how, how I could, like, uh, I don't know, do that. <laughs> this, <laughs> like, this edition it, lets players create a custom set of rules for a match, save them, and use them in either Play Now or WWE Universe. Hmm. Um, I mean, could, 
could they not just like have those matches there anyway? Like <laughs> if you want to create like I don't know, like a burning table match or like a like a Punjabi prison match. Like can you not just have those matches in there and just I don't know, give us like little options to tweak here and there? See they don't go in they don't go into sort of how in depth this sort of creation is gonna be. Yeah. Um, so it's it's a really interesting one. I mean, I've, I've been playing the old N64 wrestling games uh, over the last week or so, and you can sort of set your rules and stuff like that, and they just save automatically for you for the next time you log in. But so I, I don't know if it's going to be like that, or whether you're actually going to be able to create a match specifically. Hmm. Uh, I'm sure we'll find out more in the coming months, but it doesn't really explain much for now. Yeah, interesting one. Remains to be seen. Um, but uh, WWE, yeah. 2K18 also delivers a new My Player experience that introduces fighting styles and a brand new upgrade and progression system. Interesting. Um, yeah, that could be cool. I, I mean, they're doing away with like stats and things and just making you. I don't know. I mean, do you think they're going to go for like hmm. the RPG elements here with like Destiny and things like that with your with your character? Or I don't think take it that far, but. I don't know. It could be something, I don't know, more interesting than just having numbers to upgrade here and there. Well, the SAT system's crap anyway because it's just, it is a bit. you don't earn enough points while playing to be able to upgrade your player in any significant way. At least that's what I found. Yeah, yeah. And also, they've got so many different bloody things to put points into. No, no. Like aerial offense, aerial defense. It's like, let's just have it all in one thing. <laughs> all things that you'll realize when you're playing don't really matter. Like aerial yeah. defense. Yeah, what does that do? You either press R2 or you don't. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, uh, players weird. can choose from eight fighting styles to help define their, to help define their my player experience. Each fighting mm. style comes with its strengths and weaknesses, so the choice of style matters. That no one style can be no one style can be a master of all. That could be interesting. Yeah. Okay. Like an aerial guy, like a brawler guy, or just like a map based kind of guy. Mm. With a compelling new my player system, we also wanted to we also wanted something unique and different for your my player to do in WWE 2K18. Unique thus, and different. Mm. Mm. <laughs> thus, yeah, no, he actually uses both them words. Um, <laughs> thus, a brand new my career experience awaits, incorporating a new storyline and a free roaming backstage area that will allow your my player to interact with other WWE superstars and help direct the narrative. That sounds like uh, here comes the pain on PS2. Good, because good. that is a good career mode. <laughs> that is a good career mode, yeah. Yeah, um, that I, I can deal with. Now, if they do it if they do it right, then this could be very, very good. But what I think they need to do is take the ranking system from Here Comes the Pain and implement that into the career mode. Because it cool. actually felt like you were building towards something when you were playing Here Comes the Pain, you know? Yeah. Basically, just, just make Here Comes the Pain again. Oh, and let's do great. that, yeah. Let's, <laughs> yeah. Just, um, let's just remaster that, but put new wrestlers in it. Yeah, there you go. Sorry. There you go. We, we, there you go, good. Because it also takes the commentary out and puts music in there instead. Yeah, excellent. Even better. Speaking of, I think one of the things they mentioned as well is like an updated um, commentary roster. Thank Christ. Good. I can't remember who they said. I think it was like uh, Michael Cole, Corey Graves and someone else. Be Byron Saxton, surely, I would imagine. Oh, it could be, yeah, actually. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's fine. I mean, better than bloody JBL. It has to be, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Um, WWE 2K18 is delivering an all new road road to glory mode that lets Ooh. players compete against others using their my player characters in a yeah. quest to qualify for WWE pay per view events. Uh, I'm assuming that's <laughs> like an online only mode. Yeah, online's never been great in these 2K games, have they? Not 2K games, but like wrestling games, WWE games. Mm, no, there wasn't. Just, I mean, the input is there's a horrendous input lag which makes online unplayable in my opinion. Yeah, same. It's so difficult. Yeah, it sucks. Realism. WWE 2K18 yeah. will be the most realistic WWE game to date. <laughs> it's like this an oxymoron. <laughs> oxymoron. <laughs> like, realistic <laughs> WWE. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. This year, we developed an entirely new graphics engine. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Right. I mean, the graphics, are, the graphics have been fine. There's nothing really wrong with graphics, apart from, like, Danny Brooke. Uh. <laughs> yeah. um, this will uh, deliver a spectacularly new lighting, more realistic skin, and new camera effects. The WWE superstars, crowds, and arenas have never looked better. Got to have that realistic skin. Yeah. <laughs> Since words don't do the visuals justice, we are excited to show you the amazing how amazing WWE 2K looks in the near future. Oh, mm. can't wait. Yeah. Um, fix the hair. Just fix, fix the, the hair. hair. That's enough for they me. They clearly have never seen hair before. <laughs> yeah, seriously, it's just one big lump. You just can't yeah. float around. <laughs> <laughs> Along with great new visuals. 
Mm. WWE 2K18 introduces a new commentary team with the trio hey. of Michael Cole, Byron Saxton, and Corey Graves at the commentary table. A WWE 2K game has never sounded better. We also greatly improved the crowd sounds, so that means they're non-existent now, um, <laughs> including the addition of authentic crowd chants, also non-existent, yep. um, to bring the entire WWE experience to life. In short, WWE 2K18 has never been closer to what our fans see every week on WWE television and at live <laughs> events. Cool. Um, mm. So no Jerry the King Lawler, no JBL. Good. Good. Thank that's, Christ. That's, that is already an improvement that I can get on board with. Yeah, absolutely. Oh. Uh, there's more. Ooh. This but is wait. quite extensive, to be fair. Ooh. WWE 2K18 continues improving and redefining the simulation gameplay experience that sits at the core of the franchise. Mm-hmm. Uh, we are bringing new mayhem and carnage in the form of eight-person matches, oh. including ladder matches, the Royal Rumble, eight-person tags, e- and even a battle royal. That's cool. Players can now experience the chaos of eight WWE superstars all vying for the same goal. Now, um, mm. six people in the ring at one time is a problem <laughs> in WWE 2K17 because... This is true. Be- because frame rate just cannot deal with it. Because so, frame rate. <laughs> because frame rate. Now they're gonna have to improve this greatly because as it stands at the minute, this it's bad. could be a shit show. It could be. It could because be really six bad. person matches are a shit show in WWE two K. Oh yeah. Speaking of the Royal Rumble matches, we also revamp revamp these by implementing new elimination mechanics, elimination. a quick elimination system, new specific match finishes and new elimination sequences. With eight WWE superstars in the ring, combined with the new mechanics, the Royal Rumble is better than ever. Good. It needs new mechanics because it's been the same for like five years now. Yeah. <laughs> the same, the same be... corner animation, trying to hump him in the corner, trying to yeah. throw him over the ropes. <laughs> Crap. It's so bad. Also, there's mm. a new carry system, which we'll share more details on in the future. Now, what mm. I think they mean by that is that sort of like if you have a character, using the example of Braun Strowman, like you carry them like maybe to the ropes and then maybe there's something like that. Yeah, that could be cool. Yeah. So that's interesting. Yeah. Universe mode sees changes in WWE 2K18 because, of course, it does. Good. <laughs> uh, it needs improving or it yep. needs taken out completely. <laughs> yeah, it needs deleting. Delete. Delete. But we're not broken, though, so V1. Yeah. Legal reasons. <laughs> Legal reasons. There it is. Yeah. Am I doing the V1 right in there in the camera? I'm, I'm doing, <laughs> funny you say that, like, I was doing the exact same thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, um. So uh, apparently there's including a new story system that provides more flexibility in how stories play out. The interactions between WWE superstars uh, build up to rivalries and determine what stories will unfold. They say this every year and every year it's not good. Now there needs mm. to be a massive improvement this year. So Agreed. new calendars, cutscenes, uh, power rankings and even a new superstar goal feature to be announced like everything else in the future. Ooh. Um, they're working hard to improve the online experience. Um Search for community creations is going to be easier because, thank God, um, <laughs> it's going to have the largest roster in WWE gaming history. They're Good. excited to share the roster soon. But for now, WWE Hall of Famer and current Raw General Manager, Kurt Angle, is the pre-order bonus for WWE 2K18. Awesome. I'll update Kurt. Kurt again. So hopefully, we're going to get a better game this year. I mean, it hopefully. all sounds very promising. It really, really does. And I hope to God they deliver. I mean, we enjoyed yeah. 2K17 for about a week. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's fine. But they always promise big things. You always get excited, but then you always end up getting let down. Um, but some of the things on there do sound pretty cool. Yes, I'm, they ca- do. I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic. Yes, I think that's the best way to approach WWE 2K18 right now. Cautiously yeah. optimistic. Definitely. We'll keep bringing you more WWE 2K18 news as it comes in. And we'll continue to critique it also as it comes in up yeah. until its release date, where I'm sure you will see us streaming it and tearing it apart. So oh, yes. <laughs> look forward to that. <laughs> Absolutely. Let's move on to actual wrestling. Yay. We have a pay-per-view this Sunday, which of course is WWE Great Balls of Fire. Goodness gracious. Great Balls of Fire. Indeed. Flawless. <laughs> yeah. We did it. We did I it. I thought Um, to be honest despite its name I'm actually quite looking forward to the card yeah it's actually a really good card it's yeah I was looking at it earlier went down like predictions and stuff 
It's like, wow, yeah. that's actually really good. Yeah. <laughs> so hopefully the show will deliver and it will actually be really, really good. So fingers so. crossed. Yeah, yeah. Fingers crossed. Everything crossed. Everything crossed. Finn. Hello. Talk to me about Raw and talk to me about SmackDown. Uh, I've seen both. Yes, good. Me too. Let's um, do this. It's pretty, pretty good week this week, actually, I thought. Yeah, I enjoyed it, yeah. So Raw started off with uh, Enzo coming down to the ring. Uh, by the way, Enzo and Cassidy was way better, way more interesting than I thought it would be. Yeah, um, for sure. Like, I think we, we, we touched on it last week after Enzo's really, really great promo mm. and that great segment between Enzo and Cass. And yeah, it, it's really delivered on levels it probably had no business delivering on. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Um, but yeah, Enzo's mic work is uh, fantastic. Um, yeah, for sure. I mean, th- that was never in dispute. I mean, what's in dispute oh, yeah. was the, where the, the two were going as a team. And obviously that's now been fixed and they've, they've obviously gone their separate ways. So... Hmm. Yeah, another good segment this week on Rob from Enzo. Yeah, um, called uh, Big Gas and Cass Hole. Uh, it was cool. Um, and then after after that segment, Big Gas is being interviewed backstage, and uh, Enzo out of nowhere attacked him. Um, so that's cool. Like change the roles a little bit, getting his own back. Yeah, that's good. I'd be interested to see how that works uh, in an actual match. Yeah, I can't see Enzo winning. <laughs> I think it's going to be a big. St- uh, big gas is destroying Enzo, and then like Enzo gets sympathy because Big Gas just won't stop, won't pin him. Yeah, that, I've done this last week. It's the same last week, but uh, yeah, that's we'll go through our predictions, one. of course, for Great Balls of Fire in just a short little while. But of yeah, course. I, I see the same as you. Yeah. Um, so we had um, a tag team match: uh, Bailey and Sasha Banks versus Nia Jax and Alexa Bliss. Uh, Bailey was killed by Nia Jax on the outside. Rip, <laughs> and then t- <laughs> taken, taken away by doctors. Rip. <laughs> It was uh, ended up being two on one against Sasha Banks, and then uh, Sasha Banks ended up uh, out nowhere getting the victory on Alexa Bliss. So he uh, got a blocked in a bank statement and made the tap out. Yeah, and I, and I was like, "Dude, what the fuck? We're winning." <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is all to build to Sasha Banks versus Alexa Bliss is coming Sunday. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that will be a great match. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, it's cool. I'm glad they're making Sasha look strong again. Yeah, me too. Uh, this, it feels like it's been a, a long time coming because Sasha really hasn't been doing much of anything of any worth. I mean, she was on the pre-show, I think, for, uh, for the last Raw pay-per-view, if I'm right. Uh, yeah, I think so. Didn't tag team match with um, Rich Swann, wasn't he? Yes, that's it, yeah. Against yeah. Uh, Fox and Noam Dar. That's the one. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so it's good that it's been brought back into the main event picture. Yeah, deserved as well because she's one of the best that they've got, without without doubt. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, so we have uh, Cedric Alexander versus Noam Dar in a another two short match, um, and uh, yeah, Cedric Cedric won, and I guess that's the end of that feud. Kind yeah. of kind of just ends on a wet wet note. Kind of like, oh, it's over. Yeah, the end. The thing is with this, <laughs> the 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 cruiserweights don't need these garbage romance storylines to to get over they just need to be given time to put on excellent matches yeah I mean this is a good match but it's again way too short too short yeah, yeah. I mean you're not giving these these two excellent wrestlers the the time they need to showcase what they can really do and it's a real problem for me because they created 205 Live off the back of the Cruiserweight Classic which was not known which wasn't a storyline thing no it's just matches here's a cruiserweight classic and we're going to introduce a cruiserweight championship and build a division on this but instead they've gone in what appears to be a completely opposite direction yeah, and they've they... just made a mini 205 version of Raw and Smackdown yeah it's weird they they definitely WWE did didn't they it's like yeah we're going to have a cruiserweight yeah. division but we're going to make them wrestle the WWE style we're not going to let them you know wrestle what they used to and it's not resonating to, but... with the fans either no it's not I Shame. mean, you've got, you've got Drew Gulak doing the no-fly zone stuff. And yeah. You've got, you know, you've got this romance storyline with Noam Dar and Alicia Fox and you bring Cedric in it who's been out of it for a little while because he's been injured. Yeah. Um, then you had the stuff with Rich Swan, and the only real good stuff is the, when Neville is on screen and he's... <laughs> there's, there's no real nonsense. He just goes from opponent to, a, to another opponent to another opponent and he's just winning. I mean... Mm. You know, and it's just having matches, and that I'm fine with. I yeah, mean, yeah, I know that Tazawa is part of this whole Titus brand thing, but yeah. it's not really been that much of a distraction for the fact that they're going to have a match, and that's it. No storyline nonsense or anything has really gone into this feud, so uh, I'm True. I'm fine with it, and that's what yeah. it should be. But it isn't that, and that's what's frustrating. And in the yeah. long run, two o five live will fail because of that. 
I agree. Um, I really think they need to move the time they record to Five Live as well. Because like, they record it after SmackDown when the crowd's like all the worn out from SmackDown. And then they go, yeah. oh, by the way, there's also this other thing you need to watch. And by then yeah. the crowd is like, oh, I just want to go home now. Yeah, this, <laughs> I, I feel the same. I also feel they should move it to full sale. Yeah, that'd be... Sort of um, have it be part of the NXT tapings. Yeah, just take it off Raw and SmackDown all together. Or just Raw all together. Yeah. Just have, have them do their own thing. Just yeah, let them do special matches. Yeah, it'd be like having NXT. I mean, the same, I mean, NXT would be the same if they recorded that straight after Raw or straight after SmackDown. It would just fall dead because yeah. people are exhausted from two hours of live television. People should, they should just take it into the smaller arena and have it that way because I think it not only will come over a lot better, but I think they'd probably just let them get on with it. Exactly. And uh, yeah, the crowds just will be way more into it as well, which uh, definitely helps. Oh yeah, exactly. I mean, it'd be a much smaller crowd. They'd be they'd be way more into it, and you'd probably see a better caliber of matches. I mean, to be fair, they've only got a very small roster of wrestlers. I mean, maybe you could even implement it into NXT. I don't know. Yeah, um, maybe. Maybe I don't know, but something has to change with Two Hundred Five Live, and drastically. Yes, I agree. For it to it's, be a success, it's one of the lowest rated things on WWE Network as well right now, which is, which is uh, a shame. It is a shame. It's not good. It's a real shame, and I think they're going to have to... They, they, I mean, they're going to know this, obviously. Hmm. Um, they, they're going to have to now do something about that. Yes, absolutely. They'll, they'll, I think they'll fix it somehow, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Hopefully. <laughs> fingers crossed, yeah. Yes. Um, yeah, so after the Gridjack match, we had uh, Miss TV mm. uh, with uh, Bo Dallas and um, the other one, Kurt Axel. Yeah, the other one. <laughs> the <Yeah>. other one. <laughs> <laughs> Bo, Bo Dallas had was sporting a nice bandana. It was, yeah, and also like a Bray Wyatt ish beard. Yeah. Mm. It's awful similar to Bray Wyatt, funny that. Yeah, strange. <laughs> yeah. Um, so during that, Miz was uh, obviously interrupted by Dean Ambrose. Of course. Uh, Dean wants a rematch for the title. And then all people, he Slater comes down and saying, Oh, I beat the Miz last week and now I'm on a title match. I've got kids. Um, probably they're still going with that. <laughs> yeah, same, seriously. Um, so he gets a match uh, for that night and Dean gets one at Great World of Fire. And the match started right there and then. And Miz was fighting in his uh, like shirt and slacks. Yeah. So it was quite funny. Excellent uh, use of the term slacks, by the way. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> um, I love the Miz. I really do. I think he's so, oh. so good. Yeah. I mean, he made the most of what he could last week with that terrible LeVar Ball segment. Okay. And he's doing a great job. Just con- consistently. He's just so consistent. Um, yeah. I, I, I just... I want... I love that the Miz is making something of the IC title, mm. but without question, down the line, he could carry the the heavyweight championship again. Oh yeah, absolutely. Mm. Uh, so yeah, at Heath uh, for the he slayed over to the Miz, and it was uh, slightly decent actually. Um, yeah, Dean Ambrose was on comms. Yep, yeah, it was very funny as well because Dean's great on commentary. Yeah. Um, <laughs> at one point he said, uh, "Mr. Ranch is a terrible name." Who came up with that? And then Booker T was like. Great balls of fire. It's like, it's like ah, I get it. Yeah. Terrible names. <laughs> Dean Ambrose was like, yeah, whoever they came up with that must be the same person who came up with great balls of fire. Yeah. And then he kept saying it, didn't he? He's like, goodness gracious, great balls of fire, a <laughs> kick to the head and that stuff like that. It was very, very funny. <laughs> yeah, and very good. Dean Ambrose just seemingly does not give a toss. Yeah, and that's, that's fine. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, so Heath had like a big, massive power slap on top rope to grab it nice for. Yeah. Uh, then Curtis Axel with its direction. Uh, Rhino tried to help but got beaten up. Uh, and then Miz hit the squad for the Grizzly Finale for the win. And then it's Axel to match. But then Dean comes out to help. Uh, but gets beaten up. And then Miz versus Dean. And yeah. Miz, 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 was, left, Miz was left standing tall. And thought it was going to be Miz versus Dean Ambrose at Great World of Wire. Yes. Which uh, should be good. What's the deal with Rhino? I can't believe he's still hanging around. I don't know. It's kind of felt like he's there just to, just to be there. I don't know. It's a really strange one because... Like, I was talking to Steve about this yesterday. We're saying like he's one of the most like legitimate guys, like tough guys there probably. But yeah. He was the the last ECW proper ECW heavyweight champion. He was, yeah, it's true. So he could probably beat the crap out of all these guys. I mean, you know, <laughs> he was awesome when he was in NXT and he was beating people. Now I just feel like he's some sort of comedy act with Heath Slater, which I'm not a big fan of. I have to be honest. Um, yeah, I'd imagine they'd break up eventually, and Rhino will end up coming out the heel. Hopefully, I know he'll stick around as well. Shrug. Yeah, I don't know. I just think it's one of those things that's just just getting lost on Raw at the minute. Yeah, I think so. Mm. Um, so we had uh, Seth Rollins versus Go Hawkins. It was lasted all of like three seconds. Yeah. Uh, Seth hit his new knee finisher. 
Has it got a uh, name? Um, I don't know, actually. I can't remember. Okay. Okay. Here one. Um, but yeah, so then he uh, called out Bray Wyatt and was just like, hey, I'm going to beat you up on Great Walls of Fire, so watch the show, please. Thanks. Yeah, he was like walking <laughs> around, wasn't he? Like uh, in some desert place. Uh, yeah, that did happen. I didn't make a note of that. I think I might have skipped it. <laughs> it was weird. Yeah. He was like, can you hear me, Seth? And I was thinking, probably not, because he's not in the desert with you. <laughs> yeah. Well, Seth, Seth's in the arena. You're in a desert, so he probably can't <laughs> hear you all that well. Oh, I don't know. That was weird. Um, yeah. But it'd be a good match. It will be fine, yeah. I don't, I don't understand this uh, use of Kurt Hawkins over the last few weeks. Yeah, but, it's just like... He's just yeah. a, like dropping out to everyone. That was the point. I mean, more specifically, Seth Rollins, his last well, three yeah. weeks. I mean, he put in a good shift last week, I think, or the week before. I can't remember. Yeah. But then this week, he didn't even get any offense and just got squished. Yeah, yeah. In commentary, was like, oh, the only reason he got offense in the last week was because Bray Wyatt was in Seth's head. And yeah, so, well, okay, wait, wait a very poor bloody Curtis. Oh, Curtis Hawkins, like, sorry. Curtis. <laughs> Curtis. Like, <laughs> Curtis Don't. Hawkins. Yeah, that's the one. It's like they, they brought these people back to pad out the uh, the roster after the brand split. Yeah. They've done, Kurt Hawkins has done nothing. Literally nothing. I mean, we thought the same about Jinder, and now Jinder's the champion. Yeah, maybe that means uh, Kurt, Hawkins, Kurt Hawkins will be the one to beat Brock Lesnar. <gasps> That's definitely what's going to happen. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. You're there first. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so we had probably the uh, segment of the night, which is uh, Samoa Joe and Brock Lesnar interview. Mm. Uh, very, very cool. Very intense interview by Samoa Joe. Uh, Brock Lesnar being more laid back, being like, oh, "Dude, why? You, I'm just gonna be here and whatever." Yeah. Um, and then uh, Joe comes looking for Brock Lesnar, and they're both like held off by security. And uh, it was really good. I like it. It was a good build. Samoa Joe is awesome. He's so like, so good. There are there there are no better heels hmm. in wrestling in WWE at least now than Samoa Joe. Yeah, Joe's great. I mean, I sing his praises all the time, but I think this feud has really. Um, shown WWE what they have in Samoa Joe. And I think um, it won't be now, but he will get his uh, run with the uh, Universal Championship at some point, I think. Oh, yeah. Um, But yeah, he's he's doing such excellent work at the minute. Him and Heyman have really um, given this feud uh, fuel going into Great Balls of Fire. No fire pun intended there. (laughs) Uh, yeah, but I'm really looking forward to the match. That would be excellent. I hope it's a good match as well. I hope, like... Mm. Uh, I mean, Brock has seemingly gone along with the build-up and yeah. has let Joe come across as a real monster. I just hope um, that carries forward into the match at Grey Balls of Fire. Yeah, I think it will. I have faith. They know what they've got there. and it's like, They're not going to waste it now, I don't think. Good. I hope. <laughs> fingers uh, crossed again it's like, seemingly like this is just a fingers crossed podcast we're like we're pretty fingers crossed for everything yeah <laughs> oh dear so we have um, Mustafa Ali versus Neville another good but short Cruiserweight match yeah uh, uh, Neville winning with the Wings of Saturn as he does of course a good showing though for Mustafa Ali he took a one hell yeah. of a bump from uh, the top rope to the barricade oh or yeah the, the cushioned barricade whatever you want to call it but yeah. he's underrated man I mean, he could okay. be uh, a really great cruiserweight champion. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a go hard. I'm a go hard. Anyway, it's got um, good music too. <laughs> it is. Um, and then after that, they announced that the cruiserweight championship will be defended on the pre-show. Uh, <sighs> <sighs> Wait to get the cruiserweight championship. Uh, some momentum going forward, there, guys. Yeah, thanks for that. <laughs> I saw <laughs> that in my head as well. It was just like, come on. Yeah. Come why? On. Why waste it? Just, Champion- just fill out the card. Yeah, championship championship shouldn't be defended on pre-shows. No, we say this all the time, but it's doesn't make it any less true. Championship <laughs> yeah, shouldn't be defended on the pre-show. Agreed. Um, well, I've noticed that lots of place. Oh god, I oh, smacked that right. Okay, uh, so we had uh, Finn Balor versus Cesaro. Uh, now we're talking. Now talking oh about. yeah, I know. Seriously, right? <laughs> I saw yeah. this. And I was like, yes. Now this. Yeah. Hope th- I hope this is given time because these are two incredible wrestlers. Yeah, really good. And it was a good match as well. Yes, it um, was a good match. Yeah, I was very, very impressed. Yes, Hardys were there to, to uh, come watch because they had a match at uh, Great Water Fire. Yeah, Matt Hardy did most of the talking. Jeff Hardy just sat and <laughs> yeah, man, the cool. occasional word. He said, yeah, yeah, man, yeah. I'm looking yeah, forward to uh, Finn Balor's my daughter's favourite wrestler. and <laughs> yeah. Matt Hardy was just giving deep insight into the match. <laughs> it's easy to see who's the talker in that group. Absolutely, yeah. 
Um, but it's cool. Uh, it's a shame it scored the distraction. Um, at one point, uh, Light Snapshot came down. Well, they, I think he missed his cue because like Finn Balor was just kind of standing there waiting for something to happen. And then Light Snapshot came down and said, like, oh yeah, that's me. That's my yeah, shit, I forgot to strum. <laughs> yeah, spring. Yeah. <laughs> uh, then the Hardys came down to help and fought off uh, Light Samson. It was like a big fight on the outside. And Finn Balor was like a big dive onto everybody. Yeah, then it was just chaos cool. everywhere. Big chaos, big, yeah, big brawl, big chaos. Uh, and then Finn Balor hit his uh, coup de grace on uh, Cesaro and then it winning, which is uh, very cool. Yeah, really, really good match. Yeah. Um, I mean, it builds two feuds as well. I don't know what this feud between Elias Samson and Finn Balor is. I'm assuming <laughs> yeah. they're fighting a great balls of fire. Um, they're not, it's not on WWE.com. Uh, not on the match card, official match card, but it could happen. Oh, incredibly strange. I think it'll get added. It wouldn't surprise me, yeah. Yeah, I think it might get added. They're, otherwise, they've got to wait until the pay-per-view after Battleground, which I don't know what it is. Yeah, otherwise, what, yeah, otherwise what's Finn Balor doing? So yeah, they must add it. I'll, I'll add that to the uh, prediction list. Yeah. Even if it's not there, we'll just add the prediction anyway. Yeah. Yeah. And I like this uh, Sheamus, Cesaro, and the Hardys feed as well. I think it's mm. I think it's been pretty good. I'm impressed. Yeah, me too. So Good, good stuff all around. Good match, good match building. Yes, very good. Yes. Well done. Well done. Congratulations, so we, WWE. You've, you've worked it out. Yes. Uh, so we had uh, Braun Strowman. Braun! Versus, <laughs> versus poor, poor Apollo Crews. Yeah. Uh, I, mean, it, I, it, I, I sat there at one point and I was like, whoa, yeah. Apollo Crews is the main event here. Yeah. This is this cool. This is good. <laughs> this is good. This is, a, this is a good thing. Yeah. But uh, then he got kind of destroyed, didn't he? Yeah. yeah <laughs> he tried. Yeah, at one point he did knock down uh, Braun, which is... Uh, Further than most people get. True. Uh, he went for a backflip and then got kicked out of midair across the ring, which looks very cool. It was so uh, cool. That's what I just said for, for uh, Apollo. Yeah. Uh, um, to be honest, I was just happy to see Apollo get that spot. Yeah, it's cool to see him like Closing out Raw with Braun Strowman. Um, I, thought that, I thought that was really cool. Yeah. Um, I need more from Apollo. <laughs> me too. He's, he's a great wrestler. He's um, lacking something. I'm sort of hoping this Titus Brand thing will will push him along a little, but it was annoying mm. because, like, obviously he got destroyed and it, it, they sort of teased Titus O'Neil getting involved and Titus O'Neil is a big dude, so, yes. you know, he could really go toe-to-toe with Braun, I think. Um, mm. But then he got in the ring and got fucking destroyed, so what's the point? <laughs> yeah, uh, so uh, Braun won with, with uh, three power slams to uh, Apollo. Uh, he, like, teased him for the cover and then pulled the shoulder up. He's like, ah, no, got nothing to you yet. Uh-huh. Um, so then after uh, Born 1, Titus came to the ring and ate his own power slam. Ouch. Yeah. Uh, and then he, uh, Braun dragged Apollo to the ambulance, threw him in. Um, but then the driver didn't drive off. So like, he goes to have a look at the driver and, oh my God, it's Roman Reigns. Oh my God. To the expected? surprise of nobody. <laughs> yeah. Roman Reigns isn't here tonight, guys. They kept saying it all night as well. <laughs> yeah, he's not here. He's too hurt. Yeah, he's not here. He's not here. No. He's definitely not here. Wink, wink. Yeah. No, <laughs> wink, wink. He's not here. He's not here. So then he was there, and he was. it looked like he was going to get the crap beaten out of him, and then he didn't, so good. Yeah, he, he ended up spearing uh, Braun off the stage, through some conveniently placed tables. Yeah, and, uh, <laughs> conveniently placed cool. tables and garbage for that, that are there for really no reason at all. <laughs> Pretty much. Because but, wrestling, uh, that's why they were there. Wrestling! Wrestling! <laughs> yeah, they were there because wrestling. Exactly. Uh, but it looked cool, it's a good way to you know, keep building build, building a feud, yeah. and uh, I liked it. Cool. I've enjoyed this feud. This needs to be the end of it, though. The match at yes. Great Balls of Fire <laughs> needs to be the end of it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, oh, I mean, when he's going to win, though, isn't he? Uh, he is, yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> but that was Raw was good this week. It's been good it the last couple of weeks, actually. I think yeah, it helps that you've had um, great segments, and then you've had your filler stuff in between, but you've had great segments from Joe and Heyman and Braun and all this sort of stuff, and it's it's all come together very nicely to make one good show, um, which is more than you can say sort of for maybe previous weeks and stuff like yeah. that. So, Yeah, it's cool. Good stuff. Good show. Good show. Yeah. Um, what do you rate it out? What would you give it your grade? B plus. B plus. Um, yeah, I'll be the same actually. B plus. Yeah. A few, a few uh, things that could have been better like the quiz matches could have been yeah. better. And uh, yeah. But That's what lets it down for me yeah, at the minute. Yeah, same. But yeah, I think that's was pretty good. And their poor Co Hawkins getting like buried and doing nothing. It's a shame. But everything else, good. Thumbs up. Yep. Thumbs up. So then we had SmackDown. The start of SmackDown, we had good old John Cena. He's do, back. Do, 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 do. Uh, he's back. America is back. 
He is Captain America. Uh, and noticed in the sign as well. During this, uh, there's a rain. Roman Reigns mains Hanzo in the sign of the crowd. It's like right. Nice. I get it. Okay, cool. Nice, over, <laughs> nice uh, Overwatch reference there on SmackDown. <laughs> yeah, very cool. Um, so yeah, this, this uh, promo was basically just something, something America. Yeah. Uh, is we we love our country. We have fought hard for our country and some other stuff. America. America. Because of America. 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 So, <laughs> then uh, Rusev returns as well. Yay. Yay. Uh, interrupting John Cena. Got a bigger pop than Cena did. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> As a, he said, all you do on Independence Day is sit around eating cheeseburgers and hot dogs. And there's like big cheer from the crowd. It's like, that's, that's not a compliment, you idiots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah I'm, I'm calling you fat, basically. Yeah. And you're cheering being fat. It's America. Obesity is no joke. America. <laughs> Uh, also, the, pan- the Panther uh, guy in the crowd, he's wearing a shirt, saying, these colours never run and never will. And then I throw up all over the screen. <laughs> we're, we're not as patriotic as uh, that, are we, like, in this country? God, God, no. Like, we, we, we're just like, like, every every like town we go to, like everybody thinks their t- own town is crap. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Which would lead to the assumption that every town slash city in the country is garbage. Like, Pretty much. It's like, yeah, where do you live? Oh, I live here. It's a real shit hole. Like, everyone says that. Like, everybody you go to. Like, yeah. we'll, we'll say that. Like, even people who live in London. Oh, <laughs> I live in London. It's it's really a shit hole. It's not that great. No, it where, like, when you actually visit your, these cities yourself, you're like, oh, I love it here. I love it. This is, yeah. Um, it wasn't like, like in America, their own, you know, their own city supports their own sports teams. It was like, you can support whatever you want. No one cares. Like, yeah, I mean, I'm not from <laughs> Manchester, but I support Manchester United. Exactly. So it's you know it is one of those things. It's just like uh, it's like could, yeah, it's like um, WWE went to Manchester at that time and like had someone come down in, like a Manchester shirt. You know, it's expecting to be able to get a big cheer, but everyone just booed because everyone hates Manchester United in Manchester for some reason. It's yeah, it's quite quite everyone in Manchester support most people. There's a lot of people in Manchester Manchester that support Manchester City. Mm. There's two teams in Manchester. Yeah, very weird. Sports is weird. <laughs> the red one's a better fin. Just that's okay. all you need to know. Got it. Red equals good. Got it. There you go. Good. <laughs> uh, so we had a match. Yay. And it was very cool, actually. It was AJ Styles versus Chad Gable. Yeah. Was, I, you know what? When I though. saw this was happening, I was like, yes. This yes. is this is what I want. I don't understand why it's happening, and I don't understand why Chad Gable's doing single stuff, but yes. But yes, I like it. Um, so basically, the story was um, both AJ and Chad Gable had matches with um, Kevin Owens, but lost. Mm-hmm. Um, so whoever wins this match gets put into the uh, Battle Royal later that night uh, to determine the more contender for the United States Championship. And uh, yeah, it was a really, really good match. Good, Great, great showing for Chad Gable. Mm. Uh, and they were talking him up match. as well. Oh, absolutely, yeah. And then after the match, um, it was AJ won, obviously. Of uh, and then AJ, AJ like held his hand, picked him back up, gave him like, a nod. It's like, yeah, you're going to be a big star. AJ Styles tweeted him as well. Oh yeah, and said Chad Gable is the real deal. Yeah, and I agree. He's uh, he's you know, just great. Every, every everything you need to be the next big thing. I think. Could we just take a moment to reflect on who called this <laughs> hmm. a, a little while ago? <laughs> who could that be? Yeah, if you if you search, go to Twitter and search uh, my username at Sunny Garner <laughs> and the word Gable, you will find a tweet from a couple Gable. of years back before American Alpha were even a thing, and Chad Gable had a match and lost it on NXT. <laughs> and I said Chad Gable was going to be a massive star. Yeah. Later, years later, it's coming <laughs> to fruition. And yeah, I'm taking, cool. I'm taking all the credit for Chad Gable's push. <laughs> Chad yeah. Gable yeah, there you go. So all, all thanks Jason to you. Jordan isn't injured either. He was in the Battle Royal later on in the night, which I was <laughs> just so confused about. It's like, why is it... Yeah, yeah, are they sorry, splitting Jordan. them up, or <laughs> did they just see more in Chad Gable? Or why? I yeah. don't know. I don't what, get what, it. There was a thing on like on their YouTube channel saying with an interview with uh, uh, Chad Gable, saying like, "Oh no, we're, we're still going to be together. together. We just you know we're doing our own thing sometimes, and that's fine. And sometimes we're together, and that's fine as well. We're gonna do we both support each other, blah blah blah. blah. Uh, so they're still friends, they're still a tag team. So yeah, for now. It's weird though, right? It is weird. Yeah. Um, okay, I'm Jason, glad I'm not the only one who thinks that. <laughs> yeah, but Jason Jordan's. I mean, I like Jason Jordan, but he's not—he's not Chad Gable. I think he's a bit. He's, I think he's fairly bland. I mean, Ch- Chad Gable yeah. is definitely the character out of the two. I mean, he's the one who made American Alpha really interesting because he was the one, like, who wanted the tag team and did anything he could to be in the tag team with him. Yeah, because he needed a partner. I think it was for the Dusty Rhodes Classic. I think is that right? Ah, uh, yeah, that was it. 
something like that. And um, he was the one who was very entertaining during the segments. Obviously, he came up with the ready, willing, and Gable oh, thing. Yeah. And uh, I, I mean, I think I think he has star written all over him, one hundred percent. I like Jason Jordan. I think he's an incredible athlete. I, I he oh, yeah. really, really is. But Chad Gable is, uh, I think, where the money's at. Ah, uh, yes, I agree. Had that glowing endorsement. I mean, they were talking him up during the match. They were like, oh, this is a great showing for Chad Gable. Mm. AJ Styles, you know, picked him up, shook his hand and acknowledged him after the match. And, you know, AJ Styles gave him that endorsement on Twitter as well. So Yeah, even uh, that was a match, even that was a match, like, j was like, oh, this is a big star in the making. It's coming out, like, coming out match with Chad Gable. It's like, yeah, good. Yeah. He's so this is, uh, <laughs> this is, this is, watch out for Chad Gable going forward, for sure. Absolutely. I like one point, it was go- uh, AJ was going for the, um, Star Slash, and he countered with like an ankle lock. I've like, grabbed the ankle, yeah. and very cool. They probably like, see the next Kurt Angle in him. Oh yeah, I'm just because I mean, Chad Gable did compete in the Olympics for America, so he did. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, look forward to seeing more from Gable. Excellent, excellent stuff. Yeah. Uh, so we had a segment with Carmella. Uh, something, something, money in the bank. Uh, <laughs> they something, something. Into- did you really think anyone else was going to win it? Something, something. Yeah. I'm a heel with the money in the bank briefcase. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> and then uh, Naomi interrupted. Uh, and the and the title now glows because Phil because, because Naomi. Yeah, because Naomi. That's fine. Yeah. Look cool. That's sure. Yeah, look, you look cool actually. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then Daniel Bryan came out and uh, suspended James Ellsworth, fined him ten thousand dollars, and banned him from the arena. And uh, if he does come back, um, Carmella loses the money in the bank case. So, put on the scene for a while. Good. 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 <laughs> Good. Uh, yeah. So that's been that segment summed up. Um, then we had uh, Naomi versus Lana in a re-rematch. Because last week, Lana's shoulder was up when she was pinned. So I was like, all right, fair enough. Basically, what happened there is people pointed it out on Twitter. <laughs> yeah. So they had to acknowledge it and have the match. Yeah, I like that kind of thing. I like that they acknowledge these things. Yeah. Um, but to be honest, the match ultimately was extremely pointless. Uh, yeah, absolutely. So they locked in like uh, submission, which looked kind of like a reverse, um, what do they call it? Like reverse um, wings of Saturn. You sort can do of. it, Finn. Well done. Yeah, yeah, I did it. Yay. <laughs> um, but yeah, and she tapped out immediately. And it was weird. And then Tamina came down and like stood up to Naomi and helped Lana get out the ring. Weird. Yeah, I didn't I didn't really understand what was going on. I mean, I was so annoyed that the match ended so quickly. Yeah. Um, and then Tamina turned up and I was just thinking, who cares about this? This is weird, yeah. This is really strange. I don't really understand what's going on. So... Um, that's the thing, and Naomi's still the, the uh, women's champion. Yeah, I imagine they're gonna have like um, Tamina do all of Lana's day work and have not not have Lana wrestle, and just be like, yeah, I'm the, I'm the best because I have I have Tamina. Tamina's doing all the hard work. And... Yeah, and I, I think that's probably the best way to get Lana across. Yeah. Um, have have a lackey, uh, have yeah. a bodyguard, have somebody who can help her while she's still in her in ring infancy. Yeah, I'm okay with I that. do like her music though. I know I said this last week, but I do like it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that was uh, to be honest. Oh wait, did you just play that on Spotify or something? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Oh, I thought so. Yeah. Yeah. It was a real <laughs> accurate representation of it. That's why I thought it was. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nice noticing. Uh, <laughs> so then they announced uh, Cena versus Rusev for Battleground will be a uh, flag match. The fuck is a flag match? I wrote the exact same thing in my notes. I was just about to say the same thing. Like, I know they've had one before, but I still don't understand it. Is it just yeah. a case of there's a flag in each corner and you have to just get it down and you can wave it? Sure. Shrug. <laughs> I get it. Um, that's a battleground, right? So that's in two weeks, I'm assuming. Yeah. So, because yeah. pay per views come thick and fast these days. Yeah, probably so, yeah. yeah. Uh, so that's the thing. That could yeah. be cool. Mm. I hope Richard Renz wins, but he won't. Because of yeah, no, it doesn't make sense. That's why. That's what this doesn't make sense to me because why bring Rusev back only to have him lose to Cena straight away? Yeah, but you, cause you can't have Cena lose. Yeah, because because America, because America. <laughs> that's exactly <laughs> the reason. Uh, because America, America, America. Uh, so then we had a, the uh, rap battle between the New Day, New Day, New Day versus the Usos, Us Us, and it was judged by uh, Wally from the Pixar movies. He looks uh, different. He looks completely different. Yeah, 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 it was hosted by multi-platinum uh, recording artist Wale, who I actually do like. Uh, yeah, he's actually pretty entertaining. I like him. And he's actually uh, a wrestling fan as well, so yeah, uh, that's good, good stuff for me. Yeah. He's wearing an NWO shirt. I like it. 
He was. And to be honest, um, I like people who like wrestling being involved in wrestling. It's yeah. fine having these dickhead celebrities turn up <laughs> like last week on Raw when you had that Josh guy who had never watched wrestling in his entire fucking life. Yeah, it's like, uh, oh, that, that kick looked like a hurt. Oh. Yeah, I mean, Thanks. Wale is into it. I, I know he's a big fan of WCPW and uh, he's a, good. you know, he, he, he likes wrestling and good. that's good enough for me. So he can turn up more. Yeah, absolutely. I like him. Um, hey, yeah, if, this you, if you've got the Finn Steele endorsement of a celebrity on wrestling, then you <laughs> are definitely welcome back. Absolutely. <laughs> Finn approves. Uh, so yeah, this segment was actually way better than it should have been. Yep. Uh, Uses had like backup gangster jobbers. Uh, <laughs> and knew they, they had ha- rosebuds. I like both the same thing. We think alike. We do think uh, alike. We have too much. Too much? Too much. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, this is really good. Um, the Usos reference like Xavier's uh, and Paige's uh, little leak. Uh, ooh, naughty, naughty. Naughty, um, naughty. <laughs> I like that, though. though. It was good. It's very funny. He said it twice. It was amazing. I know. I think it's because it was so awesome. Yeah, probably. <laughs> to be honest, I didn't think much to New Day in this segment. Yeah, New Day weren't as great. The Usos blatantly were better at it. Um, so they had to kind of force like a DQ. Uh, the Usos just asked uh, New Day. Like, oh, oh, okay, uh, you were disqualified by New Day wins. Because, uh, yeah, but, it, but it, it was good. I liked it. It was good, yeah. It was good. It was a, and you are right in what you said. It was, it's way better than it had any right to, to be. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I enjoyed that segment. Uh, the Usos came out of it looking much, much better. And I Absolutely. don't think that was the original intention. <laughs> Probably not. No. Um, yeah, cool. I liked it. Good stuff. Uh, so we had uh, Aiden, English, Aiden English in the ring singing. Which uh, I love, and, by the way. Which you love, yep. That's totally fine. <laughs> and then, uh, unfortunately, he was interrupted by Randy Orton yet again. God damn it, Randy. Stop, do, stop do, ruining it. Is it like <laughs> they're having this thing where um, Aiden English is the Kurt Hawkins of SmackDown? Like no, where they just, I hope not. He's, like, losing to Randy Orton every week, like Kurt Hawkins is losing to Seth Rollins every week? Well, technically, you say that. Technically, Aiden won because he was uh, won by DQ. Randy Orton hit with the steps, and Randy Orton was like, "Disqualify me! I don't care." This is true, actually. What a, I didn't, I didn't what even face. think about this at the time. <laughs> Classic face move. Just, Classic just, not just paying hit. attention. <laughs> um, but yeah, so good. Aiden wins your match, technically. Good, and um, I liked the aggression shown by Aiden English at the beginning of this match when he hit Randy Orton with the microphone. Yeah, and that's then cool. threw him into the stairs. I was like, "Yes, this is good. Like, this is what these guys have got to offer." Yeah. He can have this singing gimmick and all that sort of, you know, um, charismatic whatever. But then he's got mm-hmm. the aggression to back it up, and that works. If it wasn't on Randy Orton, it would have been awesome. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Bloody yeah. Randy. Um, but yeah, good stuff. So we had um, another funny segment by uh, Breezango. We had uh, Tyler, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Tanae Young. Tanae Young, yeah. Yeah, interviewing Tyler Linger, asking what his strategy was for tonight's Battle Royal. And there was some guy who looked awfully like uh, Fandango in the background. Yeah, weird. Um, yeah, weird. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's very, very funny. It was and, good, uh, yeah. After that, man, after that uh, segment, they planned, got straight to Renee Young. And she was like, well, that was interesting. <laughs> yeah, and it was funny because it, you can tell that the crowd were into it as well because everyone was laughing. And, like, yeah. Everyone la- like, it, they, they, they did it perfectly because whether it was intentional or not, when, as soon as it cut back to Renee Young... Like, it was just comedy timing to perfection. Yeah, so good. It was just <laughs> brilliant, and I, I really enjoyed it, and I laughed out loud myself as well. Yeah, so. Uh, I, I lolled. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Uh, Fandango Fren- was just in the background holding, like, a saw and just, like, sawing something randomly in the background. Yeah, there was like, nothing to saw. <laughs> it, was great. it was just sawing nothing. <laughs> yeah. But it was, it was really, really good. And uh, those two have made something... Uh, you know, this is this has got an air of New Day about it, because New Day oh, yeah, took absolutely. what they had, um, which people hated and have had no interest in, and made it something what it is now and I think mm-hmm. Breezango have done the same thing they've just been like maybe be given free reign and be like okay do this you know do this gimmick and go and do whatever you want with it and they've made yeah. it they've made it great which is which is really awesome and I, um, I think well I hope they could win the tag team titles at some point in the future yeah I think they will I love these guys I so. Uh, so yeah after that they cut to when they're young interviewing uh, Maria and Mike Canellis yep and then the P cut out mid- midway through so, oops oopsie daisy uh, technical issues. We know all, all about that. <laughs> yes, we do. Um, and it, it, I feel bad because I feel bad for those guys because um, they're, they're, you know, they're doing a good job at the minute with what they're doing. 
And it's mm. obviously this is building towards a Mike Canellis versus Sami Zayn match. Oh, oh yeah, absolutely. So uh, midway through, Sami Sami Zayn knocked over some pipes in the background. I apologise like crazy and uh, starts talking about love and going on and on as he does. Uh, but then interrupted by his own music because it was time for a match. Yeah, <laughs> it's a battle royale match. Yes, and yes, I liked yes. it. I liked it. Yeah, it's a good way to build a feud because eventually yeah. my bet Mike Canellis is going to get pissed off and he's going to attack Sami and it's going to build to a match and I'm fine with it. Yeah, it's cool. Probably a battleground, I imagine. Probably, yeah. Uh, so we had the America number one contendership America. by Royal <laughs> uh, with Kevin Owens on commentary, which is always good. And uh, Sin Cara was there. So clearly Sin Cara was going to win the whole thing. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I mean, I thought this, as soon as I saw him on the graphic, I thought, well, there's only one winner. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah, who else could win? Of course, yeah, no one. <laughs> yeah. It's not realistic for anyone else to win. Exactly. Yeah. So uh, poor old Dolph was eliminated first good. by Luke what? Harper. He, was, he looked like he was wearing an extension in his hair. <laughs> he did a bit which annoyed and me I was like why are you doing had, this you look like a knob yeah you had the old noodle hair going on yeah um, knob so yeah um, that happened and uh, Fandango got eliminated second and Tyler got thrown out Fandango, Fandango caught him threw him back in and he got thrown straight back out again yeah boo um, and then Sinkara no got thrown out onto both of them by Eric Rowan boo. unrealistic unrealistic so unrealistic what are you doing WWE come on you can take out everybody yep so, is it ultimate fighter come on yeah, you could probably, you know, like, um, he could throw everyone out all at once, I think. He could, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's how good he is. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. His reason he's not on the season, well, his reason he's not on war is because he would kick uh, Braun Strowman's ass and then, be, yeah. Exactly. I mean, to be honest, I was a little bit surprised that he wasn't the cover star for WWE 2K18. Exactly, yeah, that'd be perfect. Maybe next year. Maybe, <laughs> Maybe we should year. just mock up our own version of WWE 2K18. Yeah, on. we should. That'd be this week's thumbnail. Thanks. Yes. Sorted. <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> So then uh, we had Harper eliminating uh, Connor from the Ascension. Yeah. Who was apparently still there. <laughs> <laughs> and then Mojo Rawley eliminated Harper. Crowd booze. Boo. Because <laughs> people actually like Luke Harper and don't like Mojo. Yeah. Uh, and then High Pros eliminates uh, Eric Rowan together. And then Mojo eliminated Zack Ryder. Ooh. He'll turn incoming, maybe? Yeah. He'll turn question mark. Um hmm. I I don't know. I don't care. I, I, don't, <laughs> care. I don't. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know. I think because I had a segment earlier as well during the night, but like Mojo was sitting there looking miserable, and because uh, they lost like week last week to the Usos, and like come on guys, come on, we can still get hype and still, uh, you know, hype bros and win the battle royal. And so yeah. Interesting. So what they'll do is they'll they'll basically have Zack Ryder versus uh, Mojo Rawley at Battleground. They'll build Probably. towards that now for the next couple of weeks. <laughs> Yeah, because uh, uh, Mojo needs something, because he's not getting over as a face. Yeah, Nobody I mean, he won him. the Andre the Giant Battle Royal, which everybody hated, mm-hmm. and then they they mention it weekly, but it's not mentioned in the same way as when Baron Corbin won it. Yeah, Mojo needs, needs something, he needs, needs a kick, needs some yeah. sort of gimmick change, I think. Yeah, and a heel turn would be perfect. It would. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so the last three in the match were uh, AJ Styles, Sami Zayn, and Ty Dillinger. Uh, Ty had a good showing. Uh, yep. It's uh, tiebreakers on both guys. Uh, goes to eliminate both at the same time, but doesn't quite make it. Uh, and gets eliminated by Sami Zayn. Yeah. It was, a, it was weird. Like a big cheer, followed by booze. It's like, yeah, it's Sami Zayn. But then like, oh, boo, Ty Dillinger. We like Ty as well. Uh, people sure. really like Ty <laughs> Dillinger. And WWE need to pull the trigger on him because mm. um, he could be uh, a big asset to them going forward. I mean, they, they, they chant 10 all the time. Oh, yeah. I think they need to, on it. It needs to act fast. I feel the like 10 chants are dying down a little bit. Mm. And I feel they missed a chance a little bit. So I need to capitalize on it now while I still can. Yep. Um, I, honestly, I kind of want to, to see a tie win. Yeah, me like too. A, I was thinking that myself. I was thinking, right, this is, I mean, when he hit the two tiebreakers, I was like, okay, this is good. This 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 could be the making of Ty Dillinger here. Mm. I mean, of course, they didn't pull the trigger. They want to go with AJ Styles again. Fine. Yeah. Which is and fine, I'm fine with it, of course. It's AJ Styles. Yeah. But I don't know. There was part of me that really wanted to see a Ty Dillinger win. What I was also expecting was Mike Canellis to come down and cost Sami Zayn, but that didn't. Oh happen. yeah, I was going to say the same thing. Um, but yeah, it didn't happen, unfortunately. But uh, which is soon. weird to me. Weird. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see it soon. We'll, we'll see it soon. They're being patient with it, I think. Mm. Um, so yeah, so Sami goes for a halluva kick in the corner, misses, and almost eliminates himself. Uh, Sami then attempts a suplex to the outside on AJ, but then AJ counters, hits a pele kick, and wins. Yeah, and then uh, Kevin Owens jumped off the commentary and attacked AJ straight away. Mm. Uh, then AJ fought him off and hold up the title and uh, yeah ended up looking strong 
Good. Yeah, I'm looking forward to Battleground. I mean, th- those two are going to put on a great match anyway. Oh, yeah, so, absolutely. Uh, uh, I really hope Ty gets his chance at some point. I really, really do. Otherwise, almost like during his entire run in NXT, he's just going to get lost in the shuffle. Uh, yeah. And do nothing, which is a real shame because it's a waste of time. Absolutely. Capitalise capitalize on it while you still can, WWE. Yep. Yeah, so that is uh, SmackDown. Yeah, and it was it was good. So, Another good show. It was. Another good one. Um, I think I'll also give that a B plus as well. Yeah, I'm going for a B plus as well. Yeah, good. So let's Good do with our improvement, improvement. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. But this is better than it has been for a while. Yes, absolutely. Um, let's move on to our Great Balls of Fire predictions. Okay, dokie. Of course, Great Balls of Fire is this Sunday, and you can see me at youtube.com forward slash Daydreamer Gaming from around half eight on Sunday night. Yeah, doing the live predictions on WWE 2K17 for Great Balls of Fire. Good stuff. I need to make a arena for that. I'll make yes. a good one because like last week, last time I had like a crappy backlash arena that was half past. I was like, I'll, get, I'll make a good one. Okay, cool. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah, cool. So uh, the first match I have on here is the pre-show match: Neville versus Akira Tozawa for the Cruiserweight title. Uh, who have you got, and why? Um, Neville because that because I, Neville because <laughs> Neville. Yeah, this hasn't had enough. Um, they've not had Akira Tozawa do enough in ring yeah I agree um, to really pose any threat to Neville and the fact that it's on the pre-show uh, again mm. just just screams we don't really have any proper plans for this uh, yeah I agree um, I like Akira Tozawa but he's isn't, isn't, yeah I'm not sure what they're doing with him right now um, he's more of a build I think before he becomes champion agreed he uh, and he could be I mean uh, he's oh, very yeah. very talented and he's very very good and I like him but mm. Yeah, I agree. I think um, they need to do more uh, to to elevate him to that level. Yeah, I agree. Um, so yeah, I'm going to give Neville as well, obviously. Yeah. Um, so then we had, the next one I've got is uh, Enzo versus Cass. Um, I think we're going to have the same thing here. I think <laughs> um, I think Cass has to win. Yeah. If they're going to make him look the monster that he should be going yeah. forward, I think he has to win. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, I think the only way I can see Enzo winning is if it's like by DQ, like Cass just refuses to let up and just keeps kicking, like beating crap out of him in the corner or on the outside or something. Um, okay, which I'm which I'm down with, which which elevates both people at the same time. So Enzo gets his win. Uh, Cass looks strong. Yeah, that's a good but, one. That's, a, that's that's not a bad theory. Yeah, it's only, yeah, I might go with Enzo just just on just by DQ. Um, but yeah, Cass ended up looking too strong, strongest yeah. out of them, obviously. Of course, yeah. um, that's what he should yeah. be. Absolutely. Uh, here I'm going to squeeze in uh, Finn versus Elias, which hasn't been officially announced, but surely it's going to happen. I think so. They can't drag it out to the next pay per view. I would imagine. No. So I'd imagine we'll have Finn for this. Yep. For obvious reasons. Yep. Elias ain't, Elias ain't, Elias ain't, Elias ain't, Elias ain't going to win. Uh, beat Finn Balor. I, I like <laughs> him. I do. I do like him, and I see a future yeah. in him. I really do. But uh, no, he's not going to beat Finn. No. Ah uh, no. Uh, so the next one we've got is uh, the Miz versus. The Miz. Thermis versus Dean Ambrose for the Intercontinental Championship. Hmm. I mean, I want to say The Miz. Mm-hmm. And I think he will win. But but I don't know what happens to Dean Ambrose after this. Yes. As he uh, goes... I mean, The Miz could lose and move up. True. But he won't. They took a I though. think they've got the... I think they've got the Universal Championship stuff planned up until WrestleMania next year. Probably. Um... I'm gonna say the Miz. I'm gonna I'm gonna say the Miz, but I don't know what happens to Dean Ambrose after this, and I'm concerned. By yes, that. I'm gonna say the Miz as well. Um, this is built up like the Miz to Raj. Um, so I doubt he's gonna lose it just yet. They've got more to go, more uh, more stuff in them for the yep. Miz. Uh, so yeah. The next. Uh, what do you think happens to Dean Ambrose? I don't know. Unless like someone interferes during the match and saying we're new feud or something, or maybe just going on to something next week on War. Maybe. Maybe. Hard to say. It is very difficult to say. Um, yeah, I don't know. But yeah, I'm going to go. I'm stick, sticking with the Miz. Yeah, same here. Uh, same here. I have uh, Cesaro and Sheamus versus the Hardys in a 30 minute Iron Man match. It should be awesome. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that, actually. That's a, that's a cool stipulation, and half an hour is enough time. Oh, yeah. It doesn't need to Absolutely. be an hour. Agreed. Um, I'm, I'm going with Cesaro and Sheamus. I don't think they'll drop the titles yet. Du, 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 Sheamus and Cesaro. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> Um, hmm. 
Yeah, I think it's. I don't. I don't think they want to, like, shuffle up the titles too much, too many times, too quickly, like they did with the women's title. Mm-hmm. Um, but the Hardys. I know. Um, it's, <laughs> what, what, it's a it, tough one, the, isn't it? It is. It, this is the one. Like, what did the Hardys do after this? Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to Darwin Chambers as well, because yeah. Unless I think. you know, I mean, sh- sh- yes, Sheamus and Zara <laughs> are doing pretty good at the minute, but. It's the Hardys. What are the hot? That's the thing. You see, what happens after this? I mean, we always question it. <laughs> something always comes to fruition, and everything just goes on as it does because wrestling. Wrestling. Um. I mean, I mean it, the Hardys winning it and going forward with the titles is probably better than Sheamus and Cesaro. I don't know. Yeah. I don't I, you, know. You, know you know what? I'm gonna go Hardys. I'm gonna be okay. different than go Hardys. I'm gonna go Sheamus and Cesaro, but cool. Um, I don't. Is it? That's a tough one to call. In truth. It is. Could be a draw. It's, it could. I said that. They'll go into overtime. They'll go into overtime. True. But it's good that we can't. We can't. Um, it's not obvious. It's it a is. Good thing. It is because a lot of this card is obvious. Uh, yeah, seriously. I think. Uh, yeah, agreed. So we have uh, Seth Rollins versus Bray Wyatt. Oh, this is uh, a good one actually. Yeah. All signs point to Seth winning, with him sort of just being announced as the cover star for WWE 2K18. But, True. And it's the same situation as it always is. <laughs> Bray, yeah, Bray needs, Bray needs it. the win. Yes, former WWE champion now. He needs a win. Former WWE champion, and people have probably forgotten that already. Probably. Poor Bray. <sighs> oh, it's it's annoying. Um, yeah, I, th- I think I think out of all the feuds on this match, I think this one has been built the worst because it's like just randomly all of a sudden, okay, we're feuding now. Now, yeah. Well, I, I feel like I that's the same <laughs> for every single one of Bray's feuds. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Like, oh, now I've been mad now. Oh, no, now I hate Seth, and now I'm fighting Roman or whatever. Yeah, it just doesn't... Weird. Um, I'm going to go out on a limb and say Bray wins. Okay, I like it. Um, Only because he needs it. He does. Seth's the cover star for WWE 2K18, then he's not going to drop down the card anytime soon. No. Bray but... Wyatt has these feuds, and they come to nothing, and he loses. Yeah, but at the same time, they shouldn't keep happening. Yeah, I agree. But at the same time, do they want Seth, the new cover star, to be losing matches straight away? I want to say Seth. Okay, it's be different. Tough one to call. It isn't a tough Um, one to call. Yeah, it's a weird feud and one that ultimately means absolutely nothing. But uh, pretty much, I'm sticking with Bray, but only because he needs it. Uh, yeah, agreed. Um, oh wait, hold on. Um, so next level, I have Alexa versus Bailey, but. Uh, was it supposed to be Sasha Banks for the title? Yes. I want to check. Hold on. I wish it's come best. It's from WWE.com. Let's have a look. Great balls of fire. Goodness gracious. Uh, where the match has gone. Uh, yeah, here we go. Um, champion, cast, nope. Uh, oh yeah, it is Sasha Banks. I just wrote it down wrong because I'm an idiot, I guess. Okay, cool. <laughs> Great. Uh, yes, and Alexa Bliss versus Banks. Who we've got and why? <laughs> I think Alexa Bliss will win. Okay. Uh, I think they need to keep the momentum with her going for now. Um, they can't just keep because they they take they took the 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 title off her before, didn't they? And then they had it back again. Um, I think no, I think she has to keep it. I think she has to just for momentum's sake. Otherwise, hmm. they're going to do this thing again where. Uh, the title just keeps bouncing and bouncing. Um, no, I think yeah. Alexa. I think Alexa has to win. Sasha I agree. will get her time again, but Alexa yeah. for now has to keep hold of the championship. Oh uh, yeah, I agree. Uh, I think they want to have a eventual match with Bailey as well with Alexa. And uh, yeah, I, I absolutely see uh, Sasha winning this. Um, Alexa winning this as well. Yeah. Do you think Bailey could be involved in some way? Um, uh, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe she can maybe she can come down and try and help, but end up costing Sasha the match, and then Sasha will turn a heel, which has been teased for a while now. I think I feel like that could that, we'll that could while, happen. Today. Yeah, that could mm-hmm. happen absolutely. Um, it would be a good way to turn Sasha heel. I mean, they've had their chances and they just haven't done it. Um, yeah, I think maybe now would be a good time to do it. Obviously, do it yeah. the night after on Raw, or maybe do it on the pay per view. So after Sasha was lost and uh, Alexa has escaped with the championship. Um, you could have Bailey sort of apologising to Sasha in the ring, uh, then Sasha clubs her, and that's that. Yeah, yeah, that'll work. That sounds good. 
Okay, let's go with that. That won't happen. Cool. But, but it because won't. nothing we ever nothing <laughs> we said ever it predict. Won't yeah, <laughs> nothing we ever predict goes goes like that. So yeah. Oh dear. Um, so then we had uh, Reigns versus Braun Strowman uh, in an ambulance match. Um, uh, I mean, I, I know he's going to win, but I don't I don't want it. Yeah, Reigns <laughs> Reigns is going to win simply because what's going to happen is and. This also gives my prediction away for the main event as well. But what they're going to mm-hmm. do is they're going to build for Roman Reigns uh, versus Brock Lesnar at SummerSlam for the championship. And for that reason and that reason alone, despite how great Braun has looked in the build-up to this and has pretty much carried the build-up, um, I'm going with uh, Roman Reigns to win. Cool. Hmm. I might... You know what? I might go for Braun, actually. I mean, he probably isn't going to win. Mm-hmm. So then do you but, see Braun going for Brock at SummerSlam? Uh, yeah, that's what I was going to say. I see okay. a match between Braun... Because like, let's just start with a face right now between him and um, bloody um, Bro- uh, Joe. Mm-hmm. So if he continues being a face, then he can have a match with Braun. And then he can turn heel again before Roman Reigns, I guess. Sure. I think Brock um, can switch between the two, depending on who he's fighting, to be honest. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a good point. Um, uh, but just Braun versus uh, bloody uh, Brock would be an awesome match anyway. I yeah, think. And they have teased it once as well. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna go with Braun for that match. Okay. Not great it seems. Oh, that's an interesting uh, one. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm, I can I can see your your reasoning behind that. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Cool. Uh, so we have the main event, of course. Brock Lesnar versus Samoa Joe. I'm super excited for this. This is a really this is a big match. One that I'm I think maybe they're giving away too soon. Maybe. Perhaps. But I'm happy Think that it is again. happening. Yeah. Me too. It's um, awesome. Like I said earlier on, they know what they've got with Joe now. Mm-hmm. So Joe will get his chance. This just isn't it. Brock's going to keep uh, that yeah. championship <laughs> for a while. Yeah. And eventually we'll lose it to Roman Reigns. Whether it's at SummerSlam or whether it's next year at WrestleMania, I think that's how long Brock is carrying that championship. So Joe won't win for that reason. Yeah. Or he will win, but it'll be by DQ or something like that. Oh, uh, yeah, that's a good point. Um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to this match, um, for sure. And yeah, I absolutely see Brock keeping the title. So I'm going to mm-hmm. say Brock with this one as well. Um, yeah, I'm saying Brock. Uh, Joe could, in theory, win by DQ, and that would make keep Joe's momentum going and also keep the belt on Brock. Yeah. But um, <laughs> oh, it's so tough. Um, I'm going to say, I'm going to go with Brock. I'm going to go with Brock. Okay, me too. I'm going to take a Brock as well. Um, but yeah, going to be a great match. Hopefully. A Joe win by Please. DQ, I'd be happy with, <laughs> in, in truth. Because yeah, we know too. that Brock is going to keep the championship, but I know somewhere down the line, Joe will get that chance. And But a Joe win by DQ is a win for Joe, and that is good with me. Uh, yeah, same. Uh, but, I'm uh, hoping yeah, for that, but stuff. I'm predicting Brock. Yeah, same. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's uh, Great World of Fire. Yes, this I'm Sunday. looking forward to it. And don't forget, guys, join me from around half eight, youtube.com forward slash daydreamergaming for a live WWE 2K17 playthrough of Great Balls of Fire. Yeah. yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. yeah. New day. New day. <laughs> cool. Cool. So, Finn. Hello. Have you got the book? Oh, the book. The book. I haven't. Bear with me. Two seconds. Finn is not getting used to these transitions well. He will. And he will become a podcast master, but for now, he needs to he needs to understand these transitions. He needs to, needs to get himself into the swing of things. And he Found will. it. I, mean, I was just saying, I was just telling everybody how you need to get into the swing of things with these transitions. I do. I agree. The extreme expose. I just opened up to. Hello. Anyway, um, so what letter? What um, uh, podcast brought you by the? Do it properly. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> the Games of Grass podcast is brought to you by the letter A. A. Ooh. A. 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 a you get, you're getting there, Finn. You, 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 you know, you, you'll get there eventually. Yeah, I'll get there. <laughs> um. Oh, Abraham Washington. Remember him? I do remember him. Yes. That was a thing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Air Boom, the tag team of Clifford Kingston and uh, Evan Moore. Sure. sure. I used to like Evan Moore. Yeah, me too. I think he's doing well on the indies now, anyway. So fair play. To him. He is. Yeah, yeah, good stuff. I think wellness uh, policy was the uh, the undoing of Evan Bourne in WWE. Yeah, I think I think I might have been. Yeah, just love smoking weed. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
uh, Aksana, former WWE diva. 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 Uh, yeah, she's one with the black hair, right? The Russian yeah. chick. Who yeah, I think she's... Ha- oh, she used to hang out with Cesaro. She did, yeah. She's Lithuanian. Um, sure. Sorry. <laughs> Same thing. Sort of. <laughs> sort of. We know places. Uh, uh, some town called Alberto de Rio that I've never heard of. Oh, God. That, you know what? That guy at the minute is just doing my head in. I'm sick. Yeah, Every same. time I see headlines with um, Alberto de Rio, Alberto Apatron, whatever the fuck he calls himself, he's <laughs> yeah, always he can't, he can't doing... Decide. Yeah, he's, he's always doing some sort of shoot promo on WWE. He it's is. Like, it's like, look, just... You're it fired on there for reasons. Yeah. <laughs> it didn't work because you act like a dick all the time. Yeah. Um, also, they gave you like three different title runs and you... Yeah, it wasn't great. <laughs> it wasn't great. And it's like, now, all he, you know, when we went to wrestling in commentary the other week, like he was swearing and doing a shoot promo on WWE that WCPW had to cut. Now, yeah, yeah. At the end of the TNA pay-per-view from the other day, he did a, uh, a swearing-laden promo slating WWE once again that I'm sure yep. TNA slash GFW had to, uh, are going to have to cut. Yep. It's like, and, and Paige uh, was in the crowd wearing a mask. <laughs> it's like, are you two just fucking idiots or something? Yes, is the answer. Um, just, Del Rio is just, he's not a professional, not in my opinion. He's not. So apparently at the last TNA um, tapings or whatever, or whatever it's called now, Double Force, whatever. Yeah. Um, that's, a, like, that's a bad decision, by the way. Jeff Jarrett has, has played a blinder there. He's managed to worm himself back into TNA, and his Global Force wrestling brand is now going to be TNA rebranded as Global Force Wrestling. Yes. Um, Jeff Jarrett has played an absolute blinder, and in my opinion, <laughs> Global Force Wrestling is a bad name. And it's crap. This is a bad idea. Rebranding TNA as Global Force Wrestling. That's just my opinion. People might think differently, but I don't think this is a good idea because Global oh. Force wasn't doing very well before. Yeah, no, I agree. I I was prepared. This is Impact Wrestling. It's my name. I had no problem with that. But uh, yeah, weird. Uh, but yeah, apparently during the last savings, they had to like cut his mic and like play his music really loud and just, just to stop him, just to shut him up and just get him out of the ring. He's a troublemaker. He's he's, he shouldn't be champion, I don't think. He's, he's just causing he, trouble. He's just not a good representative. I think him and Paige just bring problems. They do. Wherever it's, they it's, go. It's very strange. Mm. Um, so what have we got in A? Who else have we got? Al Snow. Wild War champion. I like Al Snow. Yeah, me too. Alex Riley. AY. Yeah. He was there like 20 minutes. Good music. Good solid Say, music. Say it to my face. Yeah, that's good. Oh, there you are playing Spotify again on these Yeah, there it is, yeah. The Alliance. Ooh. Oh, that was the WCW ECW co- uh, co-faction, right? Uh, it was, yeah. 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 Good pay-per-view, that. Invasion 2005. Really, really good. Yeah. Yeah. That's a really good show. If you've not seen it, go watch it. It's good. Cool. Uh, there's a few in there, actually. I was at a giant. Who? No, 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 some some big guy. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, that's only a good one. There's quite a few, quite a few good ones here. A day makes me think we've never done A before. Yeah, why not? Have? Um, Ashley Vel- Valence, Valence, Valence. Just called Ashley. Okay. Oh no, no, there's two different ones. There's Ashley, just Ashley, and Ashley Valence, who's someone else. Oh, okay. Ashley oh, was just... the one who wore the fishnets and was the rocker chick, right? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. I liked her. Yeah. Armando, Armando Estrada. Oh, Armando Estrada, oh. yeah, man, with the big fedora hat and the cigar. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you might have done April. I think I've recognised one. Have we done Avatar? Avatar? Yeah. I'll come back to that. Um, Was he like a WCW guy or WWE? Oh, I've been him. Um, good question. I'll, I'll, we'll do Avatar. Okay. He looks he's like an interesting fellow. <laughs> um, Avatar, from Parts Unknown. Oh, Parts Ooh. Unknown. There's a few people from there. He is, yeah, yeah. The uh, uh, cake was in there. Yeah, I, um, I have a wrestling t-shirt that says Parts Unknown Wrestling. You do, yeah. I've seen so they must have all good. went to that training <laughs> school. And Yeah, that, that explains it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, signature move was the Frog Splash. Uh, sure. This enigmatic competitor com- combined martial arts with high-flying moves and made his debut on Monday Night Raw in October 1995. Mm. Unlike most masked superstars, he didn't put on a mask until he was in the ring and he moved it after a victory. Hmm. Uh, his version of the Frog Splash was a bit different. To begin, he'd stand on the sternum of his fallen apo- opponents, jump from their body, and land on them with a body splash. Ow, that, that sounds, sounds really painful. Safe. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I wonder why <laughs> Avatar- he didn't last long. Yeah, seriously. Uh, Avatar became a fan favourite, did he? 
Did he? As, <laughs> did he though? As, really? as, you bat- <laughs> as you battled villains like Psycho Sid, Isaac Yankum, DDS, Brooklyn Jesus. Brawler, and Bradshaw. God, that sounds, sounds like such a fucking awful time for WWE as well, doesn't it? It's, yeah, Night Life Wave wasn't great. <laughs> no, it was a very poor time. Everything was so gimmicky and comic, like uh, yeah, cartoony. Like- you see, it, like when people talk about WCW all the time, and this is why WCW took over because <laughs> WWE or WWF in that time was so cartoony. Like Isaac Yankum DDS, that's Kane. Yeah, like dentist, dentist Kane. <laughs> the Brooklyn Brawler, bloody what's the trash? What's his name? Trash man, trash guy. Oh, do the dumpster Drosy? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> lots, lots of lots of, like the jobs, people, jobs that people have as wrestlers. Yeah. Weird. Uh, during his stay in WWE, he also formed an exciting tag team with fellow aerialist Aldo Montoya. Who, uh, Aldo Montoya, Montoya is actually just incredible. Oh, interesting. Under a mask. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. I think got a poor, actually. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, by March 1997, Avatar vanished from WWE. Of course he did, yeah. Of course. Even if it was only for a brief period of time, Avatar showcased his talents where only the select few are given the opportunity. Never to be seen again. Never to be seen ever, ever again. So this week's episode of the uh, Games of Grass podcast was brought to you by the letter A. Hey. You get an F in. Yeah, I did it. Yeah. I'm learning. You're learning. Guys, this has been episode 65 of the Games and Graps podcast. We are yeah. a weekly video game and wrestling podcast that posts every single Friday across podcast services everywhere. Everywhere. And youtube.com forward slash Sunny Finn Play and youtube.com forward slash Daydreamer Gaming. Yeah. Go follow us on Twitter at Games and Graps. We'll yep, speak yep. to you next week. I'm Sunny. I'm Finn. Take care, guys. Goodbye. Thanks so much. Goodbye. It's on Discord. Bye.